Hi, I'm Nick Riley, and in this video we're going to have a look at the Mark Watch function. So you'll notice that I've got the Mark Watch box tucked into the lower left corner here, and you'll also notice I have a series of stocks in there already. I'm just going to expand this box out, and you'll see a little bit more fully what it's capable of doing. So, in order to manipulate the box, the first thing you will want to know is how to add new stocks. So. I've got a series of columns set up here and also rows. If I want to add an asset or a stock, I would simply click on the relevant box and I would type in. So as an example, JCP, once I've typed this in, click return and you'll see that the stock comes in. If I want to get rid of this, again, I would just highlight it. This time I would delete it. Click on return. Or the other thing I could do is I could actually overwrite it with a different stop. If I want to get a new column in there, as an example, I want to add something to the text sector, I would simply click on here. I'm left clicking in this case. Now I'm going to right click and you'll see a series of alternatives come up. What you're looking for is insert row. Now I'm in a position where I can put another stock in. So in this case I'm going to just put MU, Micron Technology, click on insert and Micron comes in. Nice simple easy functionality. You can place these extra columns anywhere on your market watch box. The next thing I want to do is know how to change the actual columns and the, the, the headers. So I'm going to right click this time make sure that the arrow is on the actual headers. You'll also see I can sort ascending or descendingly these specific columns if you like and now I'm interested in changing the formatting so if I click config you'll see that I have a couple of alternatives available to me. I have the colour scheme which I'm happy with at the moment but all I would need to do is I would need to left click on here choose a different colour click on OK the next thing you'll see are two boxes, remain fields and using fields. Using fields are the fields that I already have in operation. So we'll see change, open change, flag, and you'll see these correspond to the order that we have them here. Remaining fields are fields that I'm not currently using. If I wanted to add open, I would simply click on it and highlight it, and click on the double arrows to send it over to the box. If there's a column I'm no longer using, I would do exactly the same thing. I would click to highlight and I would double click I would click on the double arrows and send it over. The only other thing I'm interested in here is the order of the fields that are actually in use at the moment. I'm happy with the order I have them in, however, if you want to move them up and down, you would simply click on the relevant field and you can click on up or maybe you want to actually downgrade this to a little bit further back in the in, in the market watch so I would click down. Nice easy simple functionality. Once you're happy with what you've done click on the OK box and the changes will be made. I'm just going to click to get rid of the configuration box here. The only other thing you would want to do is if you have a series of stocks that you're happy with but you also have a series of other stocks that you want to look at in this case all I've done is separate things into fields that I'm happy with here I've got the main indices here I've got the main ETFs I'm looking for and I also have the main stocks so tech banking and below I have industrials by clicking on this box I can see that I can actually load stocks or save stocks. So if I want to save this watch list, I would simply left click. And from here, I would just type in the name. Let's say default watch list four. Click on save and if I then want to change the list around or if it comes up on the opening of your system with a different list all you would need to do is right click load stocks choose your default watch list for and then click open let's close this now 
and let's just tuck this back into position.